Hi, welcome to the uh, MLB Odds Couple Show for Wednesday, April 6th. I'm Peter Loshek. Sitting next to me is uh, Mike Brenner. Mike Brenner, th this show could get very, very ugly. But after three yeah. days, I don't, it's not too I, bad I'm looking. not going to buy into it's this could get looking. ugly. There's, Any, it could always get ugly. Okay, could always well, get ugly. yeah, okay. But I'm going to stay on the positive side. Yeah. Good night last so night. So far, let's throw up the uh, the season-long record so far. Mike Brenner, I had a loss. So I'm still up for the year. You uh, killed it with two nice calls. I had two sharp Two nice calls. Night. The Cubbies, a good team. You know, in the beginning of the year, uh, I mentioned to you, I think, in this show, that the Cubs might at least to start the year uh, might be, even though they have so much hype surrounding them, might not, might not be an overvalued yeah, team. Might be undervalued. I yep. think you nailed that. And but you have been uh, you you are, have been the one who had the balls to cash with that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm not afraid not, to pull the trigger on it, Pistol Pete. But we're so. still doing okay. And uh, yeah. overall, now we got the card. And again, let's not let's not get you know. It takes time to feel things out the first oh, couple yeah, weeks, yeah, and anything absolutely. could go oh, you know, absolutely. either way. But so far, we're you know, all right. We have a, we have the card for Wednesday, April sixth. The usual assortment of games here. A bunch of attractive sides to me, but they're like big favorites. And do yeah. I want to fall into that trap? You know, it's a trap. Yeah. A bunch of uh, totals that. I'm kind of liking, but then I'm thinking, man, it could either sneak over or under one way or the other. Late. Welcome to Major League Welcome Baseball. Welcome to Major League Baseball. A whole like different that, animal. Uh, like that Seattle under that I was leaning towards mm -hmm. yesterday. It was looking like a winner the whole way. Wound up not cashing, but then wow. the Toronto under that seemed uh, that seemed uh, you know a little bit too scary. Wound up did cashing. So you know, sometimes you can't call, it, especially yeah. in the late innings with those totals. You know, right, when you're right. getting your middle relievers and closers in there. There's so. a lot. There's a lot more variance and variability. I feel in uh, in baseball than there is yeah. in stuff like football and stuff where you feel like you can. Have have like a solid edge and it's yeah, obvious from the beginning yeah. that it's a winner. All right, so let's get into it. The first game, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing that I'm thinking about. And this is again, make, call me, call me fucking idiot square. <laughs> but uh Jose Fernandez, right, at home. We know yeah. what he is. He's something like 17 and 0 he is at home. 17 and, and 0. And, and he's doing well now. He had a great spring. Yeah. Everything's coming great. off that Tommy Every, John surgery. Yeah. And, but uh, everything's copacetic. When he came back last year, he had a, a string of great starts. Great spring, so I think we can assume all systems go for a Fernandez. And he's going up against, uh, you know, Detroit and Sanchez. Detroit, a The former team. Marlin, Annabelle yeah. Sanchez, and yeah. And Sanchez is, has had some issues this spring. Uh, yeah. Didn't have a great spring. Had a few health issues. Uh, you know, you got to figure, even if Sanchez throws a top game, Fernandez might be able to match him. I'm thinking about uh, Miami on the first five, but it's a big line. One, minus 157. What do you think about that? Yeah, well, I'm actually pulling the trigger on the first half run line. With oh. Fernandez and I oh. got it at minus one ten. They, you know, it's minus a half of a yeah. run for minus one ten first half run line. So that was one of your picks. That's one of my picks right there, and it's involved in another pick. And I'm also going with the Marlins on the money line for the full game. Wow. Minus, and I can, I got it at one thirty four at mm -hmm. Heritage. Yeah. All right. Well, I will. I'll tell you what. Because of that, I will. I'll, I'll, I will not chicken out here, and I will go for it. Pulling I'm, the. I'm not going to take the run line though. I will take the uh, the money line, and it is. I am seeing minus 150 at Bet Online, but I'll take minus 157. At okay. Bet you want to? Okay. You're yeah, feeling good that. about it. Well, no. It's just and and then. Well, so, you know, here's what I like also. Yeah. All right. Sanchez had two great years after he left the Marlins. He went to the Orioles and really put together some good years. But then last year, the 31 year old got banged up, and at mm -hmm. the end of the season with San Diego, he ended up in the damn bullpen yeah. and was just getting. And, you know, mop up work. Yeah. So I got a feeling that Miami found some bats yesterday and they might come out today. And I think it was a good thing for Fernandez to got, not get the opening day start. Mm -hmm. I think that kind of takes some pressure off him. I look for him to be solid today, focused, and mattingly to get uh, the big W today. Okay, so. so you're taking Miami on the full game? On the full game on the money line, minus and 134 at Heritage. Oh, no, no, that was a, that's, a, that's, that's a typo here. Oh, okay. See? So we're going to have to give you minus, best line, minus 148 at Pinnacle. 148. I'll take that. That's a a full game money line and then the run line for the first half was available at minus 110. Okay. So that's Sounds two good. picks in one game. And I'm on you with the, with the first half of money line. And then uh, let's – do you have any other picks for today's card? Uh, is that no, it? I don't. That's, that's it. it. That's it. All right, I well, just did not see a bunch of value on this slate sure. today, Sure. Well, let's Pete. discover uh, some other games that – Sure. Uh, that, 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 here, here's one – game that I bet on a total, uh, you know, I, I, it's treacherous. It's uh, Washington and Atlanta. Now, mm -hmm. we know that the matchup between Washington and Atlanta, and maybe I'll pull the trigger on the Atlanta team total under because Strasburg looked great in the spring. At some point, he's probably going to break down this year, but I think in this first start against Atlanta, he should have a strong start. You know, and there's I, nobody nobody in baseball looking forward to that stadium closing down than Strasburg. Right, he, because he, he doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't do, well do there. good there. Right. Yeah, but still, I think there's a, it's a different team this year, and Atlanta's totally rebuilding. They're not a they're not yeah. getting a bunch of hits. And, 
then there's and then there's Bud Norris on the other side who had a he, he's liable to get roped. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll pass on the. You know, two network. years ago when he was with Houston, that was a I just faded Bud Norris, faded yeah, Bud yeah, Norris, yeah. Oh, and I yeah, banked yeah, yeah. a lot of money. But and I'm he not had, kidding. And you. he had a bad and he had a, a bad spring as yeah. well. He's those getting last old. Few starts. Yeah. It was a desperation yeah. sign. They signed him for two point five million on a right. one year contract. It just shows you how Atlanta's cut down on their talent to save money for that new stadium. They say they're building for the future. But right. What are you thinking, team total? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just sort of like thinking out loud about the game. I okay. guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to pass on it for. Well, if, for if the run line and everything wasn't so out of control, I might yeah. jump on it. But you know what? This is one I'm just going to kick back and, and I don't know. But I yeah. like I like Strasburg, and I think there's a lot of good stuff happening with Washington this year offensively. Yeah. So. Then another situation that's interesting is St. Louis and Pittsburgh. You know, Mike Leahy and and Nicasio, who had a great spring. Yes. And a lot of people are high on uh, on Nicasio, and yeah. um, you know that one. I was even though Pittsburgh has has some big bats in the lineup, and so does. St. Louis, uh, I was thinking that maybe the under seven and a half might be worth a shot there. Mm-hmm. Leaky also had a great spring, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, if both those guys come in and have decent starts, it could And you got you know, two good defensive clubs anyway, yeah. so hey, you might be onto something there, Pistol Pete. Yeah, that's that's way totals was... for me. And again, I'm not a big totals guy, but in the mm-hmm. beginning of the year, that's something I really just gotta yeah, kind of filter right, out and see what happens definitely. and see who gets hot and who's not. So and then I also was leaning towards uh towards uh Seattle and Texas. You know, talk about a guy who I'm a little bit down on is Colby Lewis. Uh, yeah. you know, he had he actually had a good year last year in terms terms of like wins and losses, but he gave up a lot of home runs. Yeah. That's not a good side. And, uh, and he's getting know, older. Yeah. yeah, he's getting up there. And, and, and Miley on the other side for Seattle. Mm-hmm. Isn't there a lefty on the saw. hand yes, for yes, Seattle? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I actually bet that one on the overnight. I took Seattle at minus 102. Now market-wide, it's, uh, it's gone up. That's so good. That's a good market, sign. Yeah. yeah. So I could give that one. <laughs> come on, Pistol Pete. Come on. you got to bounce back from I, yeah, that play last night because Cleveland certainly didn't come through for you. So Yeah, that one was, uh, in retrospect, uh, kind of a kind of a, uh, an iffy pick. And then also, uh, Patrick Corbin is going mm-hmm. for Arizona. But so, How about them last night? Pouring yeah. on the runs in the, from the sixth inning on, they really turned on the offense. So. Oh, and then here's, here's another interesting game, which is, uh, oh, another guy I'm looking to fade is uh, Giovanni Gallardo yeah, he, for Boston. Yeah, now, the question is, how do you play that? Gibson on the other side for Minnesota has a lot of upside that people are liking. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about, you know, Minnesota on the first half, Minnesota on the full game, maybe. You don't know. just think it. Why don't you pull the Well, because a lot, on, of these, a lot of these edges are, 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 kind of a, are kind of smaller iffy. You know what? I think I'm just going to stick with Miami on the first half. On the first half. Okay, okay. Why Nothing wrong just, with that. Again, stick, stick, with the, stick with the top pick where it's like if I lose, I'm like, that's okay. Yep. It's, I'm not going to hey. be like, I'm not going to be like, man, why did I give that? Why did I put like Bud Norris on go. the under or something There you go. Like and I you get it because I mean? today there's a lot of games, but I just did not see anything sticking right. out like I did yesterday besides this one. And I think... You know, emotionally, Fernandez will be ready to go. This kid's ready. And uh, I mean, the issue with baseball is you have a lot of games where, like, like the pros when they bet baseball, they have like a plus one thirty-five line that they think should be plus one twenty-five, and they're super excited yeah, about that. Exactly. Like a small edge like that. So it's it's you know yeah. it's tough to handicap. It's tough yeah. to give that with a relatively small edge in any one game. Yeah. Uh, you know, for 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 a, for a show like this. But all right, I'll give Fernandez on the first half minus one fifty-seven and review your my two, two picks. Yeah, I'm taking the Marlins on the money line for the full game minus one uh, forty. Mm -hmm. And I'm also taking the Marlins on the first half run line, so minus a half of a run for the first five innings, minus 110. So I like those two spots. I think pitching gets it done, and Don Mattingly, uh, these guys are going to love playing for him down there, and you're going to see a more of a a crowd fan base starting to show up at Miami games. Oh, I remember one I was thinking about. I was thinking about You're not even listening to a damn thing I'm saying. No, because I was like, because I saw it, I was like, I was thinking about about, uh, the the Boston Cleveland first five under Buckholz and Carrasco. Carrasco has people, you know, people talking about the side. Young for him potentially. I know, but Buckles, he can get he yeah. can get roped from time yeah. to time. But yeah, there you go. It's up to you, Pistol Pete. Last How? time you pulled something late like that, you won the you won your yeah. pick. So let's see. What's what's the first five line here for Cleveland? Uh, oof. Probably it. Yeah. Oh, it's it's it, it would be minus minus one thirty five at bet online, minus one forty other places. Yeah, that's okay. too high. All right, I'm just gonna stick with what I got. All right, well look, let's get it done again today. And again, let's keep producing because yep. major league baseball, cash them tickets, baby. Sounds good, Mike. All right, Pete.